John Fogan tells it when he was on Tudong one time, wandering through the forest in Thailand. And his only shelter was an umbrella tent, which is basically like a big umbrella and a mosquito netting on the sides. And one of the traditions of the forest monks is that in the evening when you set up your umbrella tent, you look carefully to make sure that you're not setting it up on top of an anthill or a place where there'd be other dangers from insects or dangers from the weather. We looked around, the sky seemed clear, no other dangers. So he set up his tent, hung it from a rope between two trees. And then at midnight, the storm came up out of nowhere. So immediately he put all of his robes in his bowl, except for his underrobe. And he sat in the wind and the rain. And his meditation theme was, the body's wet, but the mind isn't wet. The body's wet, but the mind isn't wet. He was able to get the mind to settle down. When he came out of meditation, the storm had passed. Next day he was on his arms round. And the people putting food in his well commented on they were how surprised they were that his robes were dry. He didn't say anything, he just smiled. You can take a couple of lessons from that. One of which is that the way you talk to yourself can make the difference between whether you're going to suffer or not. Because we live in a world where things are good and things are bad. It comes down to that. We have gain and you have loss. We have status, loss of status. Praise, criticism, pleasures and pains. Sometimes the weather's hot, sometimes it's cold, sometimes we tell ourselves it's too hot or too cold. What's the definition of too hot or too cold? It comes down to whether it's comfortable for us or not. But if we're looking for nothing but comfort, we're in the wrong place. So we have to learn how to talk to ourselves so that the ups and downs of the world don't make our minds go up and down. We keep the mind on a steady keel. So that involves a lot of knowing how to talk to yourself. When you feel an urge to do something you know is unskillful, how do you talk to yourself in a way that makes you more inclined to actually want not to do that. If there's something skillful that you don't particularly care to do, how do you talk to yourself into wanting to do it? When things are difficult, how do you talk to yourself to remind yourself that there are some things that are not difficult? It's not that you're surrounded by difficulty in every atom of your body. Some parts of the body are okay, other parts of the body are in pain. We'll focus on the parts that are okay. Some issues in your life are difficult, other issues are easy. You have to put up with the difficult issues and you have to fight to resolve them as best you can. But you also need to remind yourself that you have sources of strength inside. The sense of well-being that you create through the way you breathe, through the way you talk to yourself, through the images you hold in mind. So learn how to talk to yourself in a way that's actually conducive to getting the mind to be still and to see things clearly. So that when a difficult situation does arise, you know what to do. You're not worked up by the difficulties. You're not overwhelmed by the difficulties. You learn how to break things down into little pieces. And you discover when they're little pieces, you can bear with them. Like sitting with pain. If you think about how long the pain has been going on and how much longer it's going to go on, that's taking all that past and all that future and piling it on top of the present moment, which of course will break down. But if you remind yourself the only pain you're experiencing is the pain right now, right now, right now. Anything beyond that is something you're adding on to it. So why to add on more than you have to? So when you learn how to talk to yourself in a skillful way, Difficult things become easier, easier things become so light that you hardly notice them.